Foster Children Awareness Month, locally some high school students are teaming up to help foster kids in the community. Candace Hare has more. Yes, Trisha Rob, while many people may have a piece of luggage in their closet or in their garage, to some foster children, something as simple as a suitcase or a duffel bag, it can be a game changer when they move between homes. After learning about this, some students at Blanchester High School decided to step in. It's great to know that you are having a direct impact on these children. 11th grader Kimberly Hurst and her Blanchester Great Oaks Future Farmers of America group wanted to find a way to directly help members of their community. So they came up with the idea to collect duffel bags <laughs> for foster children in Clinton County. Because the foster children we were told often carry their belongings around in trash bags. The most recent data from the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services shows there were more than 15,000 children in Ohio's foster care system in 2021. Hearst tells me it's an issue she thinks many community members don't realize impacts their own neighborhood. I mean, most of the foster children that maybe even go to school with us, you probably don't even know that they are foster children. But once you understand that they are really like in the community, they are really here with us. It makes it opens your eyes up, like I said, to this issue, and you're able to help them out, which is a great thing. What began as an idea soon turned into a campaign as the students spread the word at Blanchester High School, local businesses, churches, and on social media. The end result? 95 bags, handwritten notes of encouragement, and hundreds of dollars worth of personal hygiene products, which will soon be in the hands of foster kids. It's a really great feeling because I just love helping people out. While this project is complete, these students tell me they hope their work inspires others to give back to those in need. Help your community out whenever you can, even if it's in small little ways. It just makes a big difference. Now, one aspect of this I thought was really great was that officials with the Clinton County Children's Services tell me the students involved asked a lot of questions before collecting these items in order to make sure the hygiene products they collected, for example, were inclusive for all hair types and all skin types. Again, it's just an example of taking that extra step to ensure they impacted as many people as possible. Candace Hare, Fox 19 Now.